from NBC News. This is Today with Katie Curry and Matt Lauer. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Now here's Ann. All right, Al, thank you. The 100th Annual International Toy Fair is underway right here in New York City where toy makers are showing off the latest in games, dolls, action figures, and electronic gizmos. Well, today, contributor and consumer specialist, her wife's mom is here with the highlights. Her, the guy with the best job in the world. You got to go to a toy fair. What happens there? It, it is fun to do this. Uh, what they do is all the toy manufacturers in the world come to New York this time of year, and they show their new goodies. <laughs> Okay, now this, now this actually, I saw this in Europe last year last year. Yes, summer. and it's coming to America. It's called Astro Jacks. It's three balls on a string. Over Fabian here, we have Fabian. Fabian is actually showing. Yes. He's, in that, he's from Switzerland, where it's been big. He's a, he's a European champion. Wow. And you can do, I mean, this is unbelievable. It's, it's fast. It's cool. The kids have a great time with it. Katie almost lost her head over there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too close. And it's simple, and it's like incredibly reasonably just priced. Three, eight bucks. Eight dollars. Yeah. Perfect. That's this is going to come to America and be huge. I predict that. And basically, just three balls on a string, and you just two don't. You... Two are anchored, and one is not. CBS News. Harry Smith. Hannah Storm. Julie Chen, and Renee Seiler. Bring you the early show. Starting up a brand new day. Live from Trump Plaza in New York City. Thanks a lot, Hannah. The toys of tomorrow are on display today here in the Big Apple at the American International Toy Fair, which is celebrating its 100th anniversary. So we send the biggest kid that we know, our very own Melinda Murphy, to find out just what your kids will soon be begging or in many cases maybe whining for. Melinda, are you in yes. heaven or what? Oh, I am in heaven. It's like being five years old again here. And I got to tell you, I've always thought I had the best job in the entire world. That is until I met these folks who actually get paid to play all day. And then this is called the Astro Jacks. Now, Astro Jacks are these cool things. They look kind of like a yo yo, or they're kind of the new yo yo, I should say. And they come uh, from London, and actually they're really, really big in the UK right now. They're also big in Asia. They go for $8. It's easy to get started, it's just really hard to learn the, to the actual tricks. You're watching ABC 13, Houston's News Leader. Well, it's a sensation overseas, but the Bayou City has been picked to test it out right here in the States. That's right. Next on the Nelson Files, see what happens when you introduce the yo-yo to the hacky sack. We'll be back. Well, today in the Files, some of the best toys are the simplest. The Slinky, the Spinning Top Marbles. Now there's a new breed of toy at stores, and creators are picking Houston to show it off. First, there was the yo-yo, that little piece of plastic at the end of a string that took the nation by storm and still holds nostalgic memories for many baby boomers. Now there's a new toy for today's video game craze youngsters. It's called Astro Jacks. Astro Jacks is a combination of, I would say, it's yo-yo meets hacky sack. Astro Jacks is a three-dimensional orbiter created by an American physicist. And you can see how he used some of the theories of physics to create the toy's success. This is a, a product that takes a little bit of dexterity and a little bit of creativity. But what really makes this one stand out is that there's no right or wrong way of playing with it. It's up to you to play with it however you see fit. Mike Wise has mastered the toy. He says there's nothing else like it. It's really like a personal, a personal toy, though. No one's going to do it the same way, really. Even with the lights out, Wise's Astro Jack's talents shine brightly. And this toy is not fun if you don't make it fun. It's just three balls on a string. Astro Jack's is already a sensation in Asia and the UK. Marketers picked the Bayou City to launch the toy in the United States. The product is available first in Houston, and it's going uh, nationwide on March 1st. Well, Astro Jacks cost about $10. It's available at several Houston toy stores. And, of course, that word dexterity came up, which automatically eliminates a good portion of us. Yeah. <laughs> but nonetheless, I picked but up some old ones. Good. Here's one you all remember. That's called Around the World. Yeah, right. that's that easy. One? Okay. This is called Walk the Dog. Remember that one? <laughs> and here's my favorite. This is Rock the Twins. <laughs> that's right. Or the, the baby. <laughs> yeah, whichever, whichever. So this guy says it's three balls and a string. No, you know what that story's going to be? In a year from now, I'm going to come on and say, the man made $40 million. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what the story's going to be. Well, thanks a lot, Thank John. John. Appreciate right. it. Well, he's a man with wit and wit, and now all he needs is the perfect toy. And Jonathan, are you having any luck this morning with that perfect toy? No. <laughs> Tom, to Houston. We are live here in the Toys R Us at Katie Mills.
It's a new kind of toy on the market now, hitting store shelves as we speak, offering folks the simplicity of the hula hoop, the wonderment of the slinky, and the physical difficulty of the skip it. They're called Astro Jacks, a revolutionary pastime. Why not since bubble blowing came along has there been quite a more pointless use of resources, but I tell you, they're downright addictive. These balls hold a world of wonder within them. This is all I can do now. It's kind of like having three yo-yos on one string. And according to Mike Weiss, Astro Jacks extraordinaire, there really isn't a wrong way to play with them. And right there, which we just did there, that was the first trick I did by accident. Was that a trick? That's called a Venus. It's called a health hazard. Whoa. Mike is apparently head over heels for Astro Jacks, and he's been traveling all over the world promoting them. They're huge in London and Hong Kong right now. So is anti-American sentiment. I don't think that comes with the Astro Jacks, though. Anti-American sentiment sold separately. Why do you have a plug around your neck? Because I'm electric, so don't touch me. Because if you touch me, you'll get shot. Or learn how to break dance. It's better than breaking a vertebrae, I tell you. Anyway, Harold Chizik, you're from Canada, works for Spin Master, the company marketing Astro Jacks. It's the type of toy that you play with rather than the toy that plays with you. And you can put it in your mouth. Kids, don't try that at home. Astro Jacks are a choking hazard, though the string can help with retrieval. It works. I'm fine. Astro Jacks can double as jewelry. They're also in line to replace baton twirling one day. Where'd that go? Luckily, they only retail for $7.99 at Toys R Us. But they're the most fun when you're with your friends outside having a good ah, time. Ah, you gave away your Canadianness. You said outside. Out. Out. You're going out, out. <laughs> no. Out. Out. There you go. Besides marketing Astro Jacks, Harold actually has something else in life worth celebrating, a soon-to-be-born baby boy. Get a load of this sonogram. What's that? That's uh, a leg. I hope so. As for whether or not Astro Jacks will catch on in the US. Ow, it hit my knuckle! <laughs> it's really anyone's guess. Back out here live now, Toys R Us and Katie Mills, where they sold out of their Astro Jacks, but they just got some more in. Is that right, Peter Ross? Beat across. Yes, that's true. We have them right here. And you put on a helmet now since the story started. Yes, because you are armed and dangerous. This is kind of cool, though. Over there, we got Brian, who well, he started doing that, and he just can't seem to stop. I don't know any other tricks. To, this is all I can do. I'm, I have my hand full over here. I can't seem to get a momentum going.